Well, hello. Today, we are going to look at animating our name on Scratch. So let's dive in, take a look. I've already started a project. And you can see what I have here is a tutorial about how to go through and do that. I'm going to share this tutorial with you so you can follow the tutorial and you can also follow my video instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a letter. So we're going to do that by clicking on the sprite icon, which is over here on the right. Um, let me move me out of the way a little bit. There we go. Pick on the sprite icon and we're going to upload a sprite. Oh, I'm sorry, not upload a sprite. Just choose the sprite. And what we want to do is we want to choose the letters. So we have all these different letters to choose from. You can pick whatever style you want. And we're going to do the letter M. And we're going to put that one in. And we're going to want to do our entire name. So I'm going to put in my whole name. And then I'm going to come back and show you what we're going to do next. So let me pause that for a minute. OK, so now I have put in all of my letters. but. Uh, uh, yeah, things didn't quite fit right. So one thing I can do is if I look over here at this size window for any one of my letters, right now they're all at 100%. They're all at 100. I could change the size and make the letters a little bit smaller. And in fact, I'm going to change all the letters and make them all smaller except for three letters. letters the capital M and the capital R for Mr. because those should be capital. Actually, we'll make the our lowercase, the capital M in my name and the capital L in my name because the L is also supposed to be capital. So let me go and do that and make it look a little bit better. So there we go. We have our letters, actually my letters, up on the screen, Mr. McLaughlin. And now the next step is to pick a letter, any letter we want, and we're going to make them do certain things like I'm going to make it so when I click on the letter M, so we're going to use the block when this sprite is clicked, I'm going to make it play a sound. Now there's two blocks to play a sound. There's a block that says start sound and then there's a block that says play sound until done. So that's the one we want. Both of them are very similar. When we do more with sound later, um, you'll understand a little bit what more about what the difference is. So when I click on the letter M, it'll play the sound um, on my computer. And I th think you should be able to hear that if I turn this on. There we go. Hit the green flag, get it started. Click on the letter M. Oh, I was on the letter N. Whoops. I put the code on the wrong letter. Hmm. But what I can do is I can take this code and I can copy it to any letter I want. So I'm going to copy it to the letter M. Let me do that again. I think it's, I have it too big. There we go. There we go. Now it is copied on the letter M. So now when I hit the green flag, and click the letter M, my letter M ends up talking to me a little bit. Now if I pick another sprite, I can change some other things like change the color effect. So maybe R, I could have it when I click on the R. When the sprite is clicked, I can change the color. That would be under looks. Now, I also could do all these other different effects. So I could change the color, I can change the, it to a fisheye, or a whirl, or a pixelate, or a mosaic, or brightness, or something called ghost. And I can change the amount of the effect that it happens. So by 25 is like by 25 points. So every time I click this, well, I can see that it's going to change a little bit. Now, I could also get a letter to move. 
So let's say I want the M in my last name to turn a little bit. So I'm going to go into the control and look at for the event when this sprite is clicked. I'm going to do a little loop. Now we've talked about loops before. This is a repeat loop. It's going to repeat it 10 times. And I'm going to have it turn around um, a certain number of degrees. Now I want it to go all the way around 360 degrees. So I should have it do it 36 times um, or turn 36 degrees 10 times. One or the other gives us 360 degrees. So I'm going to have a turn, but I'm not going to have a turn 15 degrees. I'm going to have to turn 36 degrees. And I, I don't want it to happen all at once. I want it to do it a little bit slower. So I'm going to put in my control and put in a weight. And we'll wait 0.25 of a second. So let's go see and see what happens. And look, we can see the letter M spins around. So now I've gotten a couple effects. I can add some more, like I can change the size of my letter, make it bigger or smaller. So let's go and take a look at maybe the letter L. I like doing the capitals for some reason. So when the sprite is clicked, I'm going to do two repeat loops this time. The first one. And then the second one. And this time I'm going to have it get bigger and then smaller. So I'm going to change its size by 10. And to make it smaller, I'm going to change its size by a negative 10. Now you want to make sure whatever action you do it stops right where it started. So when I turn my M around, I turn it 360 degrees, so that way it stops right up and down. And when I change my size of my L, it's gonna get bigger, but then it's gonna get smaller again. So when I click on my L, you can see it does that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have these couple examples, is I'm going to copy these examples to all the other letters in my name. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I have changed every single letter and given some bit of code to every single letter in my name. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a nice background for all this. Um, I think the beach, I'd like to be at the beach right now and I'll put my cat down a little bit more on the beach. And now I'm going to run my game, my program here, and every time I click on a different letter, something happens. It looks like I got a lot of meows in there. I did a lot of meows. I didn't mean to do a lot of meows. So you can kind of choose and, and decide how you want to animate your character and put in all of that code. So what I'm going to do is I will post um, the tutorial for this and how to do it inside of our assignment. And then what I'd also like you to do is to post the link to your project inside of Seesaw. I think that would be great if you could do that. And then that way I could see your work and um, we could share it with each other. So have fun and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Wow, that cat just like all those different colors and sound.